Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video, you're going to learn in seven minutes how to make a header and a top section, a hero section for your website. So we're inside of Oxygen. When you want to add things to your page, you're going to go over to the Add section. Everything you want to add is in the Add section. Uh, in addition, in general, you want to have your thing, your your page categorized into sections. So if we have a header, it's going to go in a section. If we have a footer, it's going to go in a section. A content block, everything is going to go in a section. So we're going to start by going to Add, Fundamentals tab, and add a section to our page. Now this first section is going to be our page header. Uh, for a page header, we're going to make it uh, blue. We want a blue background for the header. So everything you want to control about anything in Oxygen is going to be in the More section, which is this purple button right here. So you click the More section, and then you get options to control your background, where it's positioned, how much space is on it, the typography, what text, what font, is it bold, what size is it, your borders, um, and advanced settings for writing your own CSS and JavaScript. So I'm going to start by going to the Background tab, and then going to the Color tab, and then setting my background color to a nice light, actually not very light, um, but just a nice blue. Maybe right here is pretty good. And now what I want to do is add something else to my page. I want to add a logo. I want to add a logo on the top left. So the way I'm going to do that is go back to the Add section, just click the button, and then in the Fundamentals section, that has everything you'd want to build a page with if you're building it from scratch. So I'm going to go through uh, and add the image component. I'm, I'm adding a logo image. So I'll click image, that adds it to the page. And by default we have a placeholder image. I'm just going to click browse and then I'm going to select a logo that I have stored uh, on my computer. So I'm going to upload that, click select image, and now I've uploaded our logo. Now this is way too big. Right, so how am I going to adjust the size? I can do it quickly in the toolbar, but everything you need is in the more section. So I'll go to the more section, position and size. Size, I want to change the size of the logo to be smaller, and I'm going to enter in 130 pixels. And that's going to make the logo 130 pixels wide. The height is automatically computed. Now I want to go back to the section. So I'm going to click somewhere outside of the uh, logo image, in the section. Now the section is selected. I want to set the the padding of the section. I want to add some padding above and below the logo. So I'm going to go to margin and padding and then I'm going to set 35 pixels of padding on the top and 35 on the bottom. Now if you don't know HTML and CSS uh, to add a menu to the right of the logo you want the menu to be floating to the right. That means you need the logo to float to the left. To do that, you're going to set, you're going to go to the position tab and click float left. If you know HTML and CSS, you already know this. If not, that's what you do. So now I'm going to add a div block for my menu. So I'm going to go back to the add section, and a div block is basically something that can contain anything. So in this case, I'm going to have it contain my menu links. So I'll add a div block, and then to control its settings and position and everything, I'm going to go back to the more section. I'm going to set the float to right, and now I'm going to add some links. So to add links, I just go to the add section. I click text link. Since I want a text link, maybe I want home, about, contact, etc. Now I've added a text link to the page. Now I could style this text link individually, but I don't want to do that. I actually want to add a class to this text link. A class is basically like a category. So I can apply the same class to multiple things on the page to get them to all look the same. So in this case, I'm going to call it main menu link. I know every link on this page that has the main menu link class is going to look the same as this link. So I'm going to duplicate this link a few times just by clicking the duplicate button. And I'm going to enter in some link text. Doesn't really matter here. I'm just going to enter home, random, link text, about us, more stuff. And I don't really need this link, so I'll just delete it with the trash can icon. Now I want to style all these links. So I'll click a link. The class is selected, as opposed to the ID, which is only style this specific link. The class is going to style all the links with this class. I'm going to set the color to white. 
Uh, now I'm going to go to the More section, and I'm going to go to the Typography section and control the size of the text. I'm going to set it to 14 pixels. Weight is how bold the text is. 100 is very light. Uh, 900 is very bold. I'm going to set it to 600. I'm going to set some letter spacing. That's the spacing between each letter to 0.5 pixels. That just makes it a little easier to read. And then I'm going to add some spacing between the links. So that's going to be in the position and size tab under the margin section. I'm going to add 30 pixels of margin to the left of every link. And I can control this with the arrow keys. So here's our menu. Now I'm going to click outside one of the links but inside the menu bar. And I'm going to set the margin of the menu bar, which is that div block we added earlier, to get it centered with the logo. Right now it's a little too high up. I'm going to put in two pixels, maybe three, maybe four. Four looks pretty centered. Okay, so now we have a logo and a menu bar. So I'll save the page now. And then I'm going to add another section, because I want a section where we're going to show our, uh, our page content. So I'll go back, click Add. And I'm going to add another section. And inside this section, I'm going to have a blue header, a white section. And inside the section, I'm going to put a heading. So I'm going to go back to add. I'm going to add a heading. Now the thing is that this heading is on the left side, and there's not much space above it. It would look better if the heading was lower down here with more space. So I'm going to go back to the section. I'm going to go to the More button. And I'm going to add 50 pixels of container padding. That's in the position and size, margin, and padding tab. So 50 pixels of, I'm actually going to add uh, 75 pixels up here. Now I'm going to go to a typography, and I'm going to make it a line center. You can also do this quickly in the toolbar. The most useful controls are always going to be in the top toolbar, and everything else is going to be inside the More tab. So I'll make this centered, and then I'm going to enter in some text for my heading. Welcome to the Oxygen website, exclamation point. And there's our heading. Now I want to add another subheading beneath this. So I'm going to click Add. I'm going to add another heading, and I want this one to be a little bit smaller. So the size is already in the toolbar. The default is 36 pixels for headings. I'm going to click the arrow keys down to make this one 24 pixels. In addition, I'm going to go to the Typography tab. I'm going to set the color to a slightly lighter gray than the other heading. I'm going to add some letter spacing, one pixel here. And I'm going to set the font weight to 400, which is a little less bold. And then I'm going to write something. This is my nice subheading describing more information, period. And now I have a heading and a subheading. Now below this, I want to add a video. So I'm going to go to YouTube, and I'm going to find the video that I want to add. It's this one right here. I'm going to go to the uh, Share tab, and I'm going to go get the embed code. And here's the embed code right here. So I'm going to copy this. And this is code right here we copied. So I'm going to go back to the Add section, and I'm going to add what's called a code block. And the code block allows me to paste in any code I want. By default, it just shows the date. I'm going to go to the code editor, and I'm going to paste in my code from YouTube. I'm now going to click Apply, and my YouTube video is showing up. Now, this is a bit too small, right? But in the code, I can see that there's a width and a height. So I'm going to adjust the height, the width, to 700 pixels, and I'm going to set the height to 500 pixels, and click Apply. And now we have a much more reasonably sized video. 500 looks a little too tall. We got a black bar above and below. So we're going to shrink it to 450, maybe actually 430. Click Apply. And now we have a nice looking video block. Now, there's not enough space between the video and the heading, the subheading. So I'll go back to the subheading. And in the More tab, we'll go to Position and Size and add some bottom margin, 30 pixels. Now there's more space. Now below this, the only thing we need is a couple buttons telling the user what to do. So I'm going to put the buttons in what's called a div block. So I'm going to add a div block to the page. That's right here. And now I'm going to add buttons inside of this. I don't want the div block to be right against the video. 
So again, in the More tab, I'm going to add some margin. Instead of adding it on the bottom, I'm going to add it to the top, 50 pixels. So now we have some space for the buttons. I want everything in this div block to be centered. So I'm going to click the uh, Align Center button. And then I'm going to add two text links. This is going to be my first button. And then I'm going to duplicate that and call it my other button. Now I want to edit the styles for my first button. I want it to be blue, just like the background here. So I'm going to click this, go to the background tab, copy and paste the color, go back to my first button, and copy and paste the color into the background for my first button. Now I want the text to be white. That's right in the toolbar, which is easy. So I'll make it white. And then I want some padding. Padding is always going to be inside of the element. Margin is a space on the outside, padding is a space on the inside. So I want space on the inside around the text. Enter eight pixels, apply it to all sides. And then on the left and right, I'm going to put 13 pixels. Apply to the left. I want a border radius, so I'll go to the borders tab, click radius, and add a four pixel radius. I'm going to apply that to all sides. And then I'm going to do something similar for the other button. Now, before I do that, this button's right against the bottom, which doesn't look too good. So I'm going to click anywhere in the section. If I clicked here, it'd be in the div block, but I'm going to click in the section. Then I'm going to add some space at the bottom of the section. We already added 75 pixels at the top. I'm going to go ahead and add another 75 pixels at the bottom, or actually 50. I'm going to keep it the same as it is here, which was 50, if you remember, to right here. So 50 pixels at the bottom. Now I'm going to edit my other button. For this one, instead of setting a background color, I'm going to set the text to be dark, black, and then I'm going to add a little transparency so it's sort of a grayish color. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a border. Same color as the text. So I'll just copy the color, go to borders, and I'm going to add a border. It's one pixel wide, it's solid, and it's going to be this color. Now I want the same amount of padding that I put on this button on this button. So I'm going to go to position and size. I use 8 pixels and 13 pixels. So I'll just set the same thing on this one. Clicking it uh, means I'm editing it. So 8 pixels apply to bottom, 13 pixels apply to left, and that looks pretty good. I want to do the same rounded corner thing. So I'm going to go to the radius tab. I use 4 pixels on this one. Now I'm going to just use 4 pixels on this one. And you'll notice this button is slightly bigger than this one. That's because this one doesn't have a border. So to make this one the same size, I'm just going to add 1 pixel to each side. So 9 pixels on the top and bottom, 14 pixels on the left and right. And they're touching each other. I don't want that. So as you remember, padding is inside the element. Margin is outside it. So I'm going to add 10 pixels of right margin. And now the buttons are separated. I'll close the More tab and save the page. Then we'll go back to WordPress and we'll take a look at the end result. And here is our page. We have a nice header, links in the header, a headline, a subheadline. We put the video in, and our two call to action buttons. And I don't know if I did that in seven minutes, but I hope I explained it well. Okay, thank you for watching. And if you want to try this yourself, go to oxygenapp.com slash try, and you can fire up a WordPress installation with Oxygen already installed for free, and it'll stay online for a few days. So you can try it out and play around. Okay, thank you for watching.